So we're starting fishing at the poop plant, aka the sewer plant. And we got two hours and 19 minutes left of video. And we're going to fish up to the next bridge. And I'm starting out with a cast master and a spinner. And seeing how clear the water is, I'm probably going to be taking out the cast master really fast. But let's find out. We're seriously not even recording. All in all, story right now, we fished for like an hour. And this is literally the first fish I caught. I've only had like three bites. They're really not biting today. And I tried a panther... Panther Martin in gold color to Panther Martin in silver color. And now I put on a rooster tail and I got this cute little brownie wownie. And we actually need to take video for this other app we're using. Maybe there's a pile of fish up by the feeder. There's the one that he came up after. It wasn't even actioning right when I got that one. Here's one on the Rapala I found, and not even hooked in the mouth. It literally hit the bait when it was cocked. There's the aggressive ones we're after. Not hooked in the mouth. Still another just like dang, 10 inch. We're fishing with the Zoli today. She's having fun in the water. She is all kinds of interested in this beautiful rainbow trout we got. That's not very nice. It's just easy to let like, go. We probably should keep it. Anyways, we caught a crayfish and a trout. Oh, the trout I just dropped. Whatever. Scare all the fish to me, Zola. We are hooked up with the first fish of the day on a just dipping worms, worm dipping. Using the old tried and true technique, just using the ultralight. And the first fish of the day got off right by me and it was a rainbow. We're going to start doing wade fishing though, working my way back towards my house. the chub. Don't tell me no, it's another bowl. Rainbow! And of course, he swallowed the hook. Guess George is going to get some dinner. It's bleeding pretty good too. Time to get out the bay, time to keep her. I'm out of it at least. I'm gonna keep it though, it's bleeding really bad. Why in the fuck is a trout up in there? There's our brownie wownie. Dink though. In some fast goddamn current. Got one out of here, yeah, yeah. Nice brown. That's what we're after. Nice, fat, like 12 inch female brown. Really hot. Nice brownie. 
that's a football. So here's a video from like three times I went trout fishing. The one day I went and I took Zola, who's the cockatoo who's been in some of my videos. And she had a lot of fun and she swam around in the creek a lot and I caught one rainbow and got my hole spooked a lot by the puppy. And another time I fished for like two hours and I caught two rainbows on worms and I caught two browns on I think a number four four panther martin and then the other time I went out and I fished for a long time and I didn't catch anything after like an hour of fishing and then I caught had switched from a panther martin to a rooster tail to see if they wanted a different spin then I caught one on the rooster tail one on the rooster tail, and then right after that, I caught one on the Rapala and had like three or four more hits on a rooster tail. And then I put back on a Panther Martin and I caught one on a Panther Martin and I caught one on a Rapala, which I don't have those two catches on video. But the biggest was like an 11 inch brown, anyways. But they're like real scattered out, and like all of a sudden I found where they were at and I caught a few of them. So I think you just got to cover a lot of water this time of year, and they're trying to seek out cooler water because the creek's kind of warm. So you got to know where the bait is and know where the cold water is to find the trout this time of year. But just stick to your tactics you like. Because I've seen once I found them, I seem to catch them on spinners or palas, cast masters, worms. Anything seemed to work when you found them.